Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Brittany. Um, before we get started, please, please stop and like and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. Okay, did you do it? Okay, great. Let's get into it. So for today's video, we're doing something really different. I'm, I've never seen it on YouTube. I, but then again, I haven't really looked for it, but it's not something that's like one of those videos that there's a bazillion of. But we're gonna do a sunglass collection. I have a lot of sunglasses. Um, there's something that is very important to me. I always like having fun, nice, edgy sunglasses. Um, so we're gonna go through the ones that I have. So please stick around and watch. So we're gonna start off with, I, mean, I have a bunch that are like in protection, but I have a bunch that are just loose. We're gonna start with the loose ones. So this first pair is this brand. I have no idea how to say it. Um, these were like, these are from Winners, which is like Americans TJ Maxx. Um, but these are them. I just thought they were so different. Like the shape and the fact that they do have, as you can see, the blue lenses. Um, and they were only like, like $15, I wanna say. Um, and they're like red on the inside. Um, honestly, I still like them, but they're not my favorite. They sit kind of funny on your nose. Like, that's how they're supposed to fit, but they look weird, right? So you feel like you should be wearing them down. <laughs> but yeah, so these are, these are my first pair. Number one. Number two, these ones I love. These are, these are from, these are guests of sunglasses. Right there, guests, these are them. These are just so fun. They're like a round sunglass, but they're not. These are ones I like to wear when it's not super sunny because you can still like see my eyes through them so they're not super tinted. Um, but yeah, these are awesome. And they have the little nose pieces on them. But yeah, these ones again, I got them at Winners and they were like, I say $25. Um, so yeah, these are them. They're just so fun. I love the shape of them. Yeah, that's number two. Number three. These ones are from a place called the French Collection. I don't know. They are from Winners <laughs> once again, and they were like $20 or whatever, but these are some cute round ones. And then like the tortoise, tortoise print. So yeah, I wear these ones a lot. These are like a go-to pair of mine because they are just the perfect round shape. They're not too big, they're not too small. So yeah, this is the number three. Number four, these ones are from Guess as well. I haven't worn these in a while because they've kind of like bent. Like they should be more like this, and they're not like this. So I fixed them. These ones are like a cat sort of situation. Like I don't wear these ones very much anymore. And they're not really like there's nothing really special about them either anymore. So yeah, that's number four. So we're gonna start with our ones that are in protection. Can you can you guess? Do you think if they're in protection, they're a little bit more expensive? You would be correct. So these ones are from Quay, on the other side, Quay or Keys, I think it's Keys, Keys Australia. Um, these ones are, these ones are awesome. They're like, they're like aviators, but not, <laughs> they're like fancy. So they have the tortoise again, and then it's just gold metal bar and just the black with slight, like, you know how aviators have that, like, lens? That's what these are. Um, but yeah, these ones, and, like, the quality of these ones are so good. Like, when you pick up the keys compared to even the guest ones, which are, you know, guest is not cheap either. They're just, these are shit. Sorry, they're not as good a quality as the Quay, Quay? Keys, no, it's keys, I think keys are 
Um, so yeah, that's my first pair. And these ones, yeah, like these are expensive in Canada or where I get them. Um, at a little boutique, she doesn't sell them anymore because the company kind of sucks. But, um, the company, they are like $90 in Canada. So, I mean, they're an investment. They're not cheap. So, second one of the expensive one. It's actually, this is actually number six. This is number six. These are another like cat eye. They have the blue lens and they've got the tortoise again with the little gold accents. So yeah, these are another one of my keys. I love key my keys. See there, you can see the blue. They've got the blue lenses, which is just, it takes a, you know, what could be a boring pair of sunglasses or ordinary and kind of elevates them when you put colored lens in them. So yeah, that's another pair. Another pair of keys. Or quay. I don't know. This is another pair though. So once again, these are, they're very basic frame, but they're kind of fun with the fact that they're black at the top and they fade to the tortoise. And then they just have like a see-through black lens. And I love that these ones were thicker along the side there so yeah these are my like ooh, feeling like somebody else sunglasses like somebody in los angeles or something so yeah that's pair seven pair seven it's big Okay. Number eight. These ones are just like, they're kind of basic, but they're kind of not. These are just like legit all black aviators. These were my first pair. Yeah, these were my first pair. No, they weren't. I have another pair upstairs. This was like my second pair of keys. So yeah, these are pretty basic. These are just all black. The quality on these ones are quite, not quite as nice as my other aviators that I have from the brand because these ones I got in a subscription box, so I don't think the quality was as nice. They just like, they don't feel as nice as like this next pair of aviators that I have, which the case, like, look. The, this pair feels much heavier, much nicer quality than those ones. So yeah, these are another pair of aviators, and these ones are rose gold. I love the lenses on these ones. As you can see, they're kind of darker at the top, and they go lighter at the bottom. But they're legit rose gold aviators. These were my 23rd birthday present from my mom. But like, look at these. They're legit rose gold. So yeah. But yeah, these ones, they just, they feel nicer than those other aviators. Um, I love the case that these ones came in. These ones were um, a collaboration with Desi Brigands. So yeah, those ones are awesome. And then these ones are not keys. These ones are from a brand called Top Fox. But they're around the same like quality as keys, but they're a little bit cheaper. Um, I got these ones for Christmas. Um, so these are them. These are so fun. I love the points here, how it's exposed the lens. They're just so fun. Like you feel like something else, but yeah. So there's black inside. These ones are from a New York company. Yeah, top box and these are the style Chloe. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna run upstairs and get my other pair. Okay, so I'm back. I ran upstairs and I found a few more pairs. Um, so this pair is by Guess. These ones I hate. They are so stupid. They're bent, they came that way, they just like look at this. Whose face looks like that? 
I got them like at Winners for like clearance. I don't know. These are garbage. So, yeah. so my first pair of like nicer sunglasses that I ever bought that weren't like 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 guest ones or like no names. Do you have no idea where they're from? Was the Kate Spade pair. I got these ones for my like I want to say it was my 18th birthday. I like saved and I invested the Kate Spade pair. These are them. <sighs> They're so ugly. Yeah. I mean, back when I got them, which was in 2015, um, they were in. This sort of look was in. And now it's not. And I hate that I spent so much on them and they're just, they're not, I hate them. I don't like them. I keep them purely because they're, they're kind of like a sentimental thing. But yeah, I don't like them anymore. So yeah, this was my first pair of keys. Look at the difference in the, um, the bags. So this one is from like 2017, I want to say, 16. Um, so they're very old. Um, no, they're not. They're from 2017. But yeah, these are them. So I mean, they're not bad. The style is still okay. I still wear these ones. These are my like ones I keep upstairs for when I need to quickly go outside. I need a pair. Um, but yeah, you can see the lens is kind of scratched. Yeah, these ones are once again are sentimental to me. Um, I bought these for a Disney trip. Um, my Disney trip that I went on after I was cleared of chemo. I was clear of chemo and labeled as in remission. Um, I bought these as a like, good little gift to myself to wear on that trip. So these were my, my Disney sunglasses for that trip, that sentimental trip. Um, for, yeah, so I may not wear them a lot anymore, but they're still they mean they mean something to me. But yeah, this pair, this pair was again a sentimental pair. I bought this pair for my most recent Disney trip, which was Christmas um, 2019. I bought these ones for them. So like a lot of my sunglasses, they have, they have some sort of meaning behind them. So yeah, these two were Disney sunglasses. These ones my mother gave to me for my 23rd. These ones were Christmas presents, so they mean something. Yeah, this is my first, like, nicer pair of sunglasses I bought for myself. Um, these other two pair, the two tortoise ones at the start, I kind of just... Well, I had bought this pair originally for my mom, but they didn't really work for her, so I bought two other pair, which was this one and another one and I said okay well pick which one you want and I'll take the other two so those are the other two these ones were from yeah a fab fit fun box so yeah those I think I think those are all my sunglasses yes those are all my sunglasses I think I have like a cheaper pair in my car and I have like a cheap cheap pair at work that I just always stay there but yeah Please let me know which some which ones are your favorite. Which ones were not your favorite? How many sunglasses do you have? Are you like me and have? Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and have thirteen, probably fifteen pairs of sunglasses. Are you like me and have fifteen pairs of sunglasses? Please let me know. Comment how many pairs of sunglasses you have. Um. The heat's coming on. Can you hear it? Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you stuck around to the end. It would mean the world to me if you liked and subscribed. And I will see you guys real soon. Bye.